like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're doing an unboxing. Today we're doing Star Wars Crosshair from the Disney Plus, it's a, it's a mouthful, from the Disney Plus series The Bad Batch, right? So it looks like Hot Toys is continuing their line and expanding the line from, from that series. So like I mentioned, we have Crosshair here, TMS087. Um, I just checked um, Sideshow's website and he is still available, um, but it's showing waitlist open. So what does that mean? It means you, if you do get on a waitlist, you may or may not get one. But if your name gets picked out of the hat, you better be ready to check out if, because if not, um, you'll miss it. I, think, I don't know. They say you have 24 hours, but there, there was times that I didn't see um, my email and then I missed out after like 12 hours. So they, I think they do send it to a bunch of people that's, you know, that joined the wait list. So if I were you guys, if you do have figures that that is, um, that you, you're trying to get and you're, you're joined the wait list um, section, I would always definitely check your email. Better yet, if you think you want to figure, I would definitely, um, I would definitely just pre-order it if you really, if it's if it's something that you really really want, and so you don't get yourself in the bind of um, not getting um, that figure you want, right? So, anyways, let's get back today. We're doing an unboxing Crosshair TMS 087 Star Wars from the Disney Plus um series the bad batch like i mentioned right so here we go guys trying to open this up here we go the inside art looks insane looks amazing right i think so i think so i think that's a win um we have a regular well there's a few things i don't think this is a deluxe i think he just came with he just came with a bunch of stuff, right? So let me get all these accessories out of the clamshell packaging and then uh, we'll see what the um, crosser came with. Okay, so I went to the website real quick. So that's all the accessories that he came with. He came with, it, it looks like he came with a lot, but it's actually because of the rifle. I think um, I kind of cheated and look at the, the manual real quick. And it has two different, um, um, option A and B. Let's do that real quick so you guys can see it. Um, so I guess this is option B, right? Um, um, the other one, you would take this portion and then you would slap this one on. You'll take this part. Um, by the way, this is um, option A of the knife. There you go, you slap that one on. You will also take the bottom piece on and put in a a bigger under barrel like that. So there you go, that's option A. And what we have it here is the rifle. Um, it's, it's nice, it's nothing heavy. Um, but the detail, you can already see that um, Hot Toys got that down pretty good, right? So, but I think my favorite would be this version right there, right? Depending on, I guess, how big or how you're going to display crosshair because obviously if you don't have the room, um, and there you go. There's option A right there. So it looks pretty good. There's the rifle. He also came with a a pistol there you go that looks kind of nice right detail you already know hot toys do not mess around boom looks like rex right it has to be the same so i guess let's get that out of the way that out of the way 
Um, let's look at the base. I think it looks just like um, Hunter. I think I so far I have Hunter and Crosshair right now. There you go. Base, Crosshair, standard crotch grabber right here. We've seen this time and time again. There you go. Um, he also came with one, two, three and a half hands. Here we go, guys. Looks good, right? It looks really, really good. To me, it does. Anyhow, um, it matches the his color scheme. Boom. I'm pretty sure it's what we got with, with Hunter, so. There you go. Nice, and he came with, I think this is a, what is this called? Let me cheat and look it up. This one is called, um, let's see. Um, thermal detonators, one. And here's the second one. There you go. Very cool. Very nice. Um, and it also came with a backpack. There you go. I'm pretty sure this is magnetized. We'll just slap it on his back. And um, let's look at this. Sculpt. Oh my. Bro. I'm telling you right now. Um, I know he doesn't look exactly like the TV show. The, I know that Hot Toys go half um, animated and half like how the real person would look like in real life. But I'm digging it, man. Even Hunter. That looks, that looks insane. It's the eyes, guys. It's the eyes for me. Look at that. Looks good. Even the scare. I don't know if you heard my... Um, me saying earlier that um, it's a cross between the animated and like a live action version. There you go. And let's, like I always do, I'm just going to kind of show you guys um, what I'm looking at here in the camera. So you guys can see, this probably go up and down. A little stiff, so I would definitely be careful. Right? This is all my own copy, so I'm kinda little, um, some, especially when you take them out of the box because sometimes the joints will be a little stiff. So I would definitely, it looks like this one is on an elastic, so that would move out of the way when you do post them, okay? I'm digging that little thing piece right there. And obviously we know that his gun would slap on on that side over there. There you go. Looks good. I did remove the plastic, man, because it takes about eight years. Because Hot Toys get a little excited. Extra shells right there. I'm digging that. He looks completely different. This is kind of like, it's not glued in to his body but it's placed there right so the belt can kind of move but but not let's get that backpack how do you go backpack Ooh, it looks like that piece right there would line up i bet you there you go there's the backpack and maybe this would i didn't look at i did look at the Oh, oh, that, oh, my. It, it, let's see. I did, look, I didn't look at any of the photos yet. Um, because I wanted to go exactly, um, I just lost the rifle, man. Oh. So, anyways, no, I didn't. I just dropped this piece right here. So, anyways, um, I didn't look at any of the, um, pictures so let's see 
let's see if it'll show us so okay so if you do um kind of take it apart um like a blaster thingy i guess then you can kind of put it away so you will take this portion out and then you will put the plug back in like uh, like like that and i guess then you can kind of put it on there how okay so somehow there's a little light magnet you'll feel it as soon as you kind of sticks there so i guess the rest um you'll just i don't know put away if that's what you want to do like i said it all depends on on um how big your display case is but it, it looks it looks really good guys it looks man i can't wait to get all of them so right now like i mentioned i have crosshair now and i have hunter and he looks he looks amazing guys i mean look at that i can't wait to do a post for you guys but the level of details that hot toys put in this all, all the scuffing the paint application the, the you know the scratches there you go the scratches let's put the back back down um the scratches and all that stuff it's insane insane so let me get maybe i'll even get hunter out here so they can kind of see um them side by side um and i'll post them and uh, i'll let you know okay so there's a uh, size comparison with hunter and um, crosshair as you can tell that um crosshair is definitely taller than um um hunter there so yeah i just kind of you can see the similar the, the differences in on the helmet um his helmet compared to um let's see uh his helmet just wanted to make sure his helmet to hunter's helmet right you can see right there um even the paint application even though they share the same exact paint color um there's a big difference um as to um especially on the helmet on the chest um you can see that um hunters is th um the line that goes down on this chest armor is definitely um thicker than crosshair um but then again um he's got that extra detail on his shoulder pad there and um they both have oh i guess crosshair has the the skull um i don't know if you can see that this call on his um, um, shoulder right there and he doesn't right um, what else the backpack the same maybe not quite his backpack is definitely um, different there you go different but the same right uh, more uh, they're about the same as far as detail wise um they both came with a side um pistol there but but yeah what do you guys think of crosshair here let's get back to crosshair maybe i'll even pop in his head here carefully there you go there is crosshair what do you guys think does it look insane are you do you guys have them in your collection if not are you gonna um maybe get them in your collection or not but definitely a must for me since i already have hunter since i love the the show so it would only make sense if i get all of them um probably will do if definitely if they do um um omega omega and the bad batch i think is where i would kind of like end the series with the bad batch right because you can't have the guys without omega so 
definitely let me get them in a post to you guys um for you guys and we'll see how it looks there you go guys i didn't do a crazy crazy post because you know i'm planning on doing a a series i mean you know a series of um posting videos so from now on i'll post them but um right after the main unboxing i will do like a um just different shots of different poses of that um whatever character i unbox so yeah guys he's definitely as you can already tell by my unboxing that i really like this character um even though he was a he was uh he's not very nice in the series but he is still part of the team um yeah he is definitely something you need in your collection if you like the bad batch so if you've never been here before guys i do a lot of unboxing star wars dc marvel um stay tuned for this baby right here that I picked up at the San Diego Comic Con. I have a few statues. I don't know if you saw that video already, but if you haven't, I think it's like two videos back. It kind of shows you. I kind of show you guys what I got, so I'm gonna be unboxing those. But I'm just trying to catch up to some of the hot toys that I have here that's been waiting for me to be unboxed. I think right now, so far, he is the last one. So the rest is either on pre-order or underway. So I will unbox them as soon as I get them. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Damn. Uh. Yeah.